Welcome to this series. It's uh, called Football 101. Uh, my name is Theo, channel name is Dashrick, and this series is out here to be the very basics of American football. Uh, I live in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and this can help a lot of players hopefully understand the intricacies and the basics of football so that they can help learn outside of an actual practice because there is physical stuff you learn, and then there's also book stuff to learn. In this video, we're going to be talking about offensive notation. My handwriting is atrocious. I'm trying to avoid longer words. So why is this called offensive notation? Because with these six people, the other five on the field can be arranged in any fashion. I've seen a lot of it. So when you have a 10 offense on the defense, that means that they have one running back, zero tight ends. And if it's a 21, that's two running backs, one tight end. The tight end always lines up here or here. Running backs are in one of those three positions. And if you're looking at this one super carefully, as I said, you have five remaining players. They're basically receivers um, as a part of the offensive side of the ball. You can have a 32 offense. If I see that on defense, I am, I am, that, <laughs> we in trouble. Because there's various other things that are more advanced in football, such as like wing T and various stuff like that, that can throw this off. But I'm just going over when you see this sort of notation. That's what all that means. So very typically amongst fairly basic um, offense teams, you will have an 11, which is just one running back, one tight end. And since you have three other players, you'll have receiver, a receiver, and a receiver. We'll go over in another video what the receiver setups on the line look like. Yeah. I hope this video helps, and if you like this sort of thing, comment below if there's anything relatively confusing or you want me to explain in a future video. And, uh, yeah, um, Talk to you guys later.